Hello, farm owners, farm lovers, and agripreneurs. Uh, today we are on the field, and I just want to take you through uh, the process of fixing uh, drip irrigation on an open field for all year cultivation. So, drip irrigation is one of the irrigation systems we use in farming, uh, and one of the advantages of it is that it minimizes the waste of water on farm. So it's a kind of system that uh, help us to maximize the use of water. So it doesn't waste so much water and it delivers water only at the root of uh, the root of the plant where it is needed. So I will be taking you through and showing you how it is being done and uh, the processes and the materials that will be needed. First and foremost, before you want to, if you want to fix an uh, drip irrigation system you need a source of water so these are source of water for this project uh, we have a well that's the well over there as you can see and then it will be pumped to this uh, central tank where the water will be distributed through a major line so uh, the water will be collected here you can see the major line that's the major line in black so you have to lay the major line along along in a way that will supply water on the row as in on the ridges you've already made for your farmland so as you can see this is a major line that will be used so this is where the connector will be connected and the drip line will be laid on each of the ridges so when we get to that uh, place I'll be showing you. So let me just show you uh, some other materials that will be needed. So I've shown you the source of water, the tank, and the major line. This is the major line. As you can see, we've made the ridges, and the connector will be connecting water with the drip uh, hose that will be supplying the water. So this is the major line. So as I was saying, this is the connector that will be connected to the uh, major line so to supply water on the ridges so as you can see one has been fitted here already and the hose will be connected to it to supply the water so this is a the connector then uh, this is end cap this is hand cap so to put a stop to the uh, to the connection uh, to the flow of the water on the on the drip so this is the drip line itself my drip line that will be taking water from the major line down to the ridges so it will be connected to each of the connector at each point so this is the lean of the pipe in process as you can see somebody is drawing the drip line and it will be laid on the already made ridges. The first one. No, go this way. So we are in the process of laying the pipe on the ridges already. Oh, correct. Oh, correct. Eh? This is end cap. It serves as a stopper for water, not to flow coming through. From water coming from the main line. Main line. Okay. So this is this is called end cap. It will stop the water from flowing out of the drip line. So on you can see. On the, yes, on the bed. See, this is this is called drip tape. See, the emitting point are already perforated. See, see, this, see the emitting points. The water comes. Emitting points. See where water drips. See, this is where water drips. See that. So, the first line has already already been successfully lit, and as you can see. Our 
engineer is already connecting it to the connector that will connect it to the major line. So that is what is going on already. The drip tape has already been perforated from the company. So the beauty of it is that it's not a process that you will repeat. It should be there for a planting circle. So the next time you will be doing this thing again is when you want to do another circle, you want to make another ridge. Abby? So this one has been successfully connected and the drip line successfully lead. So as you can see there. So, okay, I'll try the second one on going now. You carry stick and do. Uh -huh. Does it go? So, this is the second line being laid. So, somebody is drawing it over there. So, accordingly, on the. Hello, guys. So, uh, this is what it will look like. Everything is taking shape now. As you can see, as you can see, the drip line has been connected to the major line here. So, and this is what it looks like. You see, everywhere is looking beautiful already. So, those, this uh, drip line, this connector here. As a, as a control, you can actually control the flow of the water. So, and that's the beauty of it. If you want to, if you, if you don't want water on some row, you can off it. So you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, it's taking shape, it's taking shape, it's taking shape. Everything is taking shape. So it's a very, very beautiful thing. And it makes work easier, faster. And one thing is that you can actually use this kind of uh, uh, irrigation system to apply fertilizer, to apply even some other chemicals like nematicide, if it is well uh, dissolved. And that's the beauty of it. So, um, well done. Chamawa. Bros. I'm I'm Chepita. Ah. So we are now. What I'm showing you now is a test running of the drip irrigation we just finished fixing. So we've released water, and water has started dripping out on each of the roll, as you can see. So the essence of this is that if you plant your crop the crop will be receiving water at the root zone and one of the advantage of this type of irrigation over the rain gun is that the whole of the field will not be covered with water thereby promoting uh, weed growth in this kind of scenario uh, water will only be delivered where you plant your crop and it helps in the uh, in saving water a lot so as you can see we are done with this project uh it's a successful one and pipe has been successfully lit as you can see everywhere is getting wet already everywhere is getting wet already as you can see as you can see everywhere is getting wet hmm? you see